Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to make a piece of fruit to put in our bowl for our still life composition. And I'm going to show you how to make a few different kinds of fruit. The one we're going to start with is an apple. And I'm going to make each piece of fruit in a separate scene inside the still life project folder and then I'm going to merge them into the central still life scene that we've already started to create. So the first thing we're going to do is come over here with a new clean 3D Max scene and if it's not new you can simply to make sure everything is uh, as it should be just go ahead and click reset and then right here is where we can change the project folder very easily if we click this little pull down list you can see a list of the recent projects that you have been working with uh, this is the one I'm going to switch to so I'm going to go ahead and switch this and now I have switched to that project folder so I'm going to go ahead and file save as and make sure that I'm in that correct project folder I am here's the original scene file you can see there's the bowl and the wine glass and the wine bottle and I'm going to name this new file Apple and now we're set up and ready to go so one of the first things we need is a reference image so I went to uh, Chrome and I did an image search for Apple and you have to conclude fruit otherwise you'll get a bunch of stuff related to Apple computer and I found one that is relatively uh, front facing in other words not at an angle like these and then you need to save it to the correct location inside your project folder so I'm going to right click save image as and then that's going to come up and I have to navigate to my project folder and inside your project folder you're going to want to put it in the scene assets images folder and go ahead and click save and now we're going to make a uh, reference image plane that we can use to help us guide our modeling so uh, in the front viewport go to the create tab select geometry and click plane and make a plane that is basically the same dimensions or shape as your image. In other words, if your image is relatively square, make the plane relatively square. If it's rectangular, make it rectangular so that you don't distort the image too much. And then I'm going to right click to turn off creation mode, go to the modify tab, and I always like to uh, right click and zero out the length and width segments so that we don't have those. And then we need to make a material that includes our image that we saved. Let's just use a physical material base color, general bitmap, and there's the image of the apple. And then let's drag this onto the plane, and there you go. Now we don't see it in the front viewport because it's in wireframe. So we need to click where it says wireframe and uncheck wireframe override. And then I want to move this back and center it, so let's get the move tool, and in the top viewport move it back away from the center and then let's come down to the X Y and Z coordinates and zero them out Oops, and that put it back in the center and the Y so let's pull it back again and then I always like to put it on the ground so I'm going to drag it up like so and then finally let's turn off the grid in the front viewport by pushing G on your keyboard and we need to do one last thing to get this scene ready for modeling we need to freeze this reference plane so we don't accidentally move it. So let's right click on it and go to Object Properties. That brings up this little dialog. And we want to freeze the plane, but watch what happens if we freeze it now. And click OK. The texture goes away. So let's uh, unfreeze it, unfreeze all. And right click on it again. Bring the Object Properties up. And the reason it does that is because we have this box checked by default show frozen in gray so uncheck that box and then click OK and then we can come over here to the scene outliner and click the little snowflake and that freezes it see now we can't select it and accidentally move it so let's go ahead and save our scene and then when we come back in the next video we'll begin modeling the apple and I'll see you then